Race two at Assen and round 12 of 2021 at DTM with Lucas Auer on pole position for the first time in almost three years. The Mercedes led into turn one, but it was a close battle for second place between two of the championship contenders, Marco Wittmann, who qualified on the front row, just about keeping his BMW ahead of Liam Lawson. Then then in third place, he'd moved up into the championship lead after the first race of the weekend, going on the attack through the first complex, running side by side with the BMW, his teammate Alex Alban just behind and then coming out of turn five on lap one he ran a little bit wide Liam Lawson and that was all the invitation that Alex Alban needed to get through and ahead of him so Lucas Auer led but then second place and third absolutely together on the run into turn six Vittman had the inside line he would hold second Alban third and it wasn't in the script at all for the Alpha Tori teammate of uh, the championship contender to be ahead. He was fourth while a puncture sent Esme Hawkey to the pit lane early on. Pit stops were a crucial part of the race though and having run in fourth place before the pit stops when Wittmann came out of his pit lane it was Liam Lawson who pounced on the tyres that were already up to temperature and he'd effectively gone from fourth up to second clearing his teammate and clearing Marco Wittmann. So the Ferrari got back up to speed and started to edge away from Marco Wittmann who had uh, extra success ballast on his car having won the previous day's race. He would now once again have his mirrors filled with Alex Albon's Ferrari. The best of the pit stoppers though had been Daniel Hunkadea from 8th on the grid. He now emerged ahead of Wittmann and Albon and also Maxi Gotts. It was a late pit stop for Kelvin van der Linde who was trying to make progress from fifth on the grid and as he rejoined just in front of Marco Wittmann he thought he got the move done but Wittmann with his tyres up to temperature went down the inside and got ahead in what was a battle for a net fourth place once Mike Rockham Feller, the teammate at Absports line to Kelvin van der Linde would make his pit stop because he was the last one to come in right at the end of the race. So this was second versus third in the championship and it was a great tussle. Marco Wittmann soaking up all the pressure that Kelvin van der Linde threw at him. He came alongside him on several occasions. There was some contact in the race as well, but the BMW driver just would not relent his position. Kelvin van der Linde desperate to get through. And then Daniel Hunkadea, who'd been on for a second podium of the season, suffered a late puncture to put him out of the race with just three laps to go. That would promote Wittmann, van der Linde and Gotts all up a position. At the head of the field, Lucas Auer had been caught up by Liam Lawson though, and they were running almost nose to tail, going into the final two laps of the race. But the Austrian driver had just enough in hand on old tyres to be able to keep the Mercedes ahead to take the team's second win of the season and Lucas Auer's first win of 2021. Yes, baby. Yes. Thanks for this day. Very good job. Very good job. Thank you, guys. Wittmann came home in third and scored more points than all of his championship rivals. Superb job, Lucas. Superb job. Save fuel and collect pickup. Save fuel and collect pickup. So, map one. So delighted Lucas Auer picking up his uh, sixth career victory in the DTM. He took the win, but in the championship, there's just 10 points now at the top of the table between the new points leader from this weekend, Liam Lawson and Marco Wittmann, who outscored everybody going into the final two rounds.